on your on your um, your health. Okay. And so that's what I did. So I was calling you to check up on your health. I, I had a meeting this morning. Honey? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. It says, and God said, behold, I've given you every herb bearing seed, which is up on the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for meat. This is what God says. He has given us every herb bearing seed. And one thing you must note, when God said every, it doesn't mean all inclusive, because guess what? The tree of knowledge, good and evil, was not to be touched. So there are some exceptions sometimes, right? Which is, yes, upon, which is upon the face of all the earth. So all the earth suggests that food is everywhere that you can think of. Everywhere. Yes, of course, we have experienced, some countries have experienced famine, but not, not, throughout, the, not throughout the year. Huh? Yes, all right. Sir. In which is, and it says, and every tree, in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. And we know of a mango, the fruit is yielding seed, the, the mango seeds, you know, that, that is edible. And of course, all the fruit trees are edible. And I guess the vegetal, vegetables, because they have seeds for vegetables, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Sir. All right. Maybe, that, maybe you know much about the seed, but they, they have a seed. And so this Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, clearly tells us what our diet should be like. So our diet should be plant based. So we're going to be rec recapping what you should have done nutrition and digestion. So this is the standard. Once you do the lesson, submit your assignment, then you will have enough information to provide. Good? Some, yes. as we go, some of the ob objectives were not necessarily covered in those videos, but of course, majority were covered. So what we have not covered in the videos, we're going to cover it. You're going to do a little bit of research. So you go on the internet, and you're going to get a little information, and you'll put it on the screen, all right? Yes, sir. All right, so one of the first objectives in the CSEC syllabus under um, dietary nutrition is that you, have to, you should be able to describe the major nutrients and their sources. Yes, major nutrients and their sources. Now, the, the, the adjective major is very much clear. Very clear, isn't it? Yes, <clears throat> right? Major nutrients. So this is the adjective. Major. It suggests then that they are minor nutrients too, don't it? Yes, sir. But so the adjective now there um, provides a clear distinction. Alright? So let's see. What's next? Hold on, dear. I'm trying to get to see what's next coming on the screen. Okay, good. So we're going to identify the major, the major nutrients. So you're going to then, hold on, dear. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. All right, sir. All right. What were you saying? Hello? Yeah, man, I'm here. All right, so talk about major nutrients. But let's look at the picture over here first, right? Tim, yes, sir. What's in the picture? Tell me what you can see in the picture. 
I see vegetables. Wow, you love vegetables? Yes, sir. What kind of vegetable you can sell yourself? Carrot, broccoli, string bean, tomato. Um, not sure what the yellow one is at the moment. Is that squash? Yellow one, right? Yes, yeah, squash. Okay, squash. 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 Like a pumpkin. Where should get that from? This yellow something right here is a pumpkin, sir. Oh, tell us a squash is pumpkin. No, sir. Squash is not pumpkin. I don't know where you get that from, sir. That's not a pumpkin. Oh no. Okay. That looks like zucchini to me. It's a zucchini. Yes. Okay. All right. What else we have there? Apart from the vegetable. Yeah. We have fruits. We have fruits. Okay. And what else? What else? Bread. Bread. Okay. Fries. Fries. And that looks like spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um and meat. And meat. Okay. This one you want to say? I, I like this one. All right. So what is it? It's a meat. Yes, sir. All right, good. So balance diet, of course. So what is this picture saying to you about a balanced diet then? It has. I don't want to say this, but okay, I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, it has mm -hmm. food from different food groups. Yeah, so why I think you're wrong. Food from different food groups. So balance that must have food from different what? Food groups, right? And yes. food groups here would suggest then. Um, they, they must provide with the major nutrients. And we'll yes, talk sir. about major nutrients. You have any idea what we mean by major nutrients? You have any examples? Protein. That's not, that's a nutrient. Yes, it's a nutrient. Protein is one. Um, mineral. Well, no, that's not a major nutrient. That's like a minor nutrient. Minerals are minor nutrients. Okay, so protein is a major one. Yes, yeah, it's a major one. Okay. Iron. Hmm? Iron. Iron. No, iron comes under minerals. Minerals. Oh, I don't know what to think. But protein. Um. Carbohydrates is a nutrient. Yeah, that's a nutrient. That's a major nutrient. So they call okay, it carbohydrate. Nutrients. Carbo. Hydrates. What is it? What 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 no, what are nutrients? nutrient? <laughs> Can I have a look at it? So it's just one. All right. <laughs> Is it sorry for my yeah. Sorry. Okay. Thinking for a protein carbohydrate. Fat. Hello? That fat, say fat, say fat. So these are major nutrients. Okay? And in our studies, we realized that 
the digestion basically was, was surrounding these. Because these are what, yes, what they basically had to break these down into the simplest um, components, right? And that's just a test you, 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 from what you had studied. When you break down protein, what do you actually get? The final product. When you break down protein, what do you, what you actually get? What, no, sir? Mm -hmm. When I break down protein, Mommy, you're a chef, right? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's when you break, uh, when you break down protein, what you get? Can I have a hint, sir? If we can have what? A hint. Start with A. All right. Now, all right, all right, try, try. Did I explain to what I needed to do? I mean, I said, I'm just asking. You hear me, sir? Yeah, go ahead. I said, I mean, I Amino acids. That's correct. Amino acids. That's correct. Amino acids. That's correct. Very good. Now, what I was going to say to you now before you give the answer is that I would love for you, you see, when, when I teach biology, I want my students to have their toys. So you can make, a, you can make something that represents the source of protein. And when you do a presentation, you can say, sir, is this thing here? I just take me through the digestion of the protein all the way to the end. Okay, sir. That's for next class. Yes, yeah, so the presentation must take place. Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh, you have sense. Next class. Okay, so, what, what we break down carbohydrates? What would you actually get? Starch. What do you call it? As a starch. No, sir. Starch is an example of a carbohydrate. <laughs> But we're bringing on just <laughs> what do we get? <laughs> Carbohydrates such as starch. What do we get? Yes. Hey, tell the mother to stop. Tell the answer then. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure, but as I did. When you break down starch, what's the final, what's the end product? So it's the, it's the next time you eat your dinner. The next time you eat your dinner, you must identify the carbohydrate in a plate. And you must be talking, telling the parents what happens to this carbohydrate when it, when it goes inside the stomach, etc. I'm not sure about it, but it's just glucose. Glucose, that's correct. Wonderful. Thumbs up. All right. So, fats. How about fats? What we'll break yes, down fats you get? Well, just looking at this, I'm not sure. Try again, man. You're going good so far. So protein, amino acids, glucose, carbohydrates, what for fats? Uh, 
Pakcik Asyid Sarah. Pakcik Asyid Dan? Pakcik Sarah. Pakcik Sarah, yes. Very good. Yeah, man, you're bringing at work. Very good. So protein is amino acids, carbohydrates is glucose, and fats is fatty acids and glycerol. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Perfect. I could also ask what are the enzymes involved in the digestion of each of these uh, major nutrients. The, the whole idea is, though, is that what, what I want to understand, why it's called major nutrients. Because all the other nutrients that we get, there's no need for digestion. The body just absorb them and use them. So absorption and assimilation just take place with those minor nutrients. But as, but as it relates to these major nutrients, it is called major because they have to go through a process called digestion before the body can actually get access to, the, to, to how the body uses the nutrients. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, like when we talk about carbohydrates. A matter of fact, all these nutrients have one thing in common. You want to make a guess what they have in common? I think I said it in one of the videos then. Sorry, you must have come back. Thank you. They're all nutrients. All that go? They're all nutrients. <laughs> That's too easy. Like, seriously, no? <laughs> Don't play with that one. It's, a, it's always easy as well as that. Too easy. That, that one is too easy. That is way too easy. I'm fully at the final. <laughs> all right, sir. Still thinking. Mm. They gives you energy. Well, yes, because that reason why they give you energy eventually, because they have one thing that is common. <laughs> yeah, I'd be thinking I had it. <laughs> uh, let me tell you what they have in common. They all have a gl the glucose component in them. You know, I was going to say that next though, sir. You were going to say uh, that? Yeah, I was about to say because I'm like... I read about something about glucose for each of them, so I'm like, wait, yeah. I wonder if that's it. Because what, what they use to, to, to get the protein, you know, what they use to get the protein, what, 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 not, not them get the protein, I should say, what the scientists <laughs> have discovered, uh, God created, what, what, what the scientists have discovered is that um, the glucose C6H12O6, when added to add a nitrogen or uh, one other, uh, one other, element it creates protein you follow and of course yes, you know hydrates are straight glucose molecules linked together the fats will also have a glucose linkage as well all right but we're not doing the chemistry of them no that, that's a chemist chem, the chemistry side of biology all right <laughs> yes sir <laughs> so as i'm saying when we when, when you talk about the nutrients you don't have to wait until you know 
you move on to something all different. We can just talk about the nutrients. We can talk about the digestion of the nutrients. We can talk about the source of the nutrients. We can talk about a myriad of things about them. But we want to see as we go along the objective, right? Yes, okay. So what are some of the sources of, well, what is the sources? What, what, what do you mean by the word sources? Where they come from, sir? Where, the, where, where you can access them from. Good. Uh, what you can eat, what you can consume to get them. Good? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. There was a question I should answer. Yeah, you're going to, list this, you're going to tell me some of the source of protein. Oh. Let me not understand you. Yeah. Okay, sir. You have to tell me? You answer, you answer me. I think you, sir. Oh? You have to go to get protein for you. You're not eating today? I haven't, no, this is what we're recording. Haven't you had dinner today? I hear you, sir. You never have dinner today? Yes, I have dinner today. Can't you not, not, not get protein? Um, I had rice and chicken. Oh, so chicken then? Yeah. And, the chicken that gave protein, young lady? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. Rice and gave protein, really. Rice, can I, rice give you, a, uh, rice in itself is a great <laughs> for protein, yes. But let's not get that technical now. Rice is, it's what, sir? Isn't it starch or something? Yes, rice is a, source, is a source for starch. Okay. That's what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, chicken, chicken, we get protein. That's what I mean by source. We can get it from. So we have chicken. So probably you don't want to put meat then, right? Yes, sir. I was about to say meat. Well, what else? I was about to say something that I'm like, where's some dead veggies? I don't actually know why to put that on it. No, you're not going to put pork on it. <laughs> okay, sir. Um, milk, yeah, milk to some extent, yeah. Eggs, eggs, yeah. What about plant based? What? What did you say, sir? What about plant based? Flatten. Plant based. And what? Plant based protein. Oh, 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 oh. Genesis chapter 29, chapter 1, verse 9, and whatever. And none of them will just be said, going to unite. None of these are herb beer trees uh, bearing seed. So you have to be the God never going a protein source? Yes, sir. Oh. I'm just going to start and get some plans. Um, lettuce. Sir? Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Go ahead. What are you saying? I said lettuce. Let who? Lettuce. I don't know about I'm going to put legumes. I didn't say legumes. Legumes. Oh, okay. There are many other sources, right? Yes, what sir. About, oh, carbohydrates now. Mm. <clears throat> right. 
Hmm? What do you call it? Rice. Yeah, rice. Potato. Potato. Yam. Yam. Mm -hmm. Green bananas. <laughs> All right, ma'am, sure I'll put that. I'm just asking because. You can't say no. That's a banana spell. Uh -huh. And you can't put. Yes, so you never bread, you know, say bread, bread on the plate. Yes, I was about to say bread. Mm. Bread on the plate, you know. Right, what about oh, you wanted me to tell you from off of that or out of my head? Out of your head. Okay. Mm. Fats. Mm. Meat. Yeah, that seems, yes. Meat as well. What else? Um, butter. Margarine. Oh, yeah, butter. Good. Oil. Oils. Good. All right. That, that, that can take the wrap. Okay. 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 You get it now? Yes, sir. Sir, give us a second. Yeah, ma'am. We're going to move on now. Hello? Oh, yeah, the phone. Okay. Good night. Okay, I'm in class at the moment. So after class, can I call you back? Who said that? All right, exactly. I'll call you after class then. Cause this sounds serious. I'll call you after class. Bye. All right, see you. Hello? Yeah, you ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. All right, so, all right, so we can clear that and move on to our next one. Computer kind of slow here. No problem. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're looking at now state the function and the main sources of vitamin C, B1, A, D, and the minerals, calcium, and iron. So we're supposed to state the function of these main sources. So what you do in this case now, you want to do, we're going to set up a table. But before we go to that, let us examine this picture. Look at that picture and tell me about it. Um, the eyes don't look right. Yeah. But look at the questions. Like, um, that kind of middle man. Kind of... Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Carrot comes under with vitamin C. Wait, 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 cataract? Carrot. Carrot? Yes, sir. Oh, you mean carrot is the source of what vitamin? They say vitamin A. Yes, sir. She needs more vitamin A then. Because <laughs> from me, I go, we get more stomach. Carrot. Good for your eyes. 
and trust me, I've been eating carrots and still I'm wearing glasses. Mommy, what are we doing? All right, you, you can you can research this, you know. You can Google the information and come up with it. Do it now with their phone or something. Yes, sir. <coughs> Did, I say some, did you say something about cataracts, right? Well, okay. the, the key hint that I've given you though is that the person is unable to see well at night. That's the hint. Oh, sir. Mm. I'm not hearing you. Your, your mic went. Saying, you hearing me now? Yes, sir. The person is, un, is unable to see well at night. So what is it? What, what condition? What's the name given to that condition when a person is unable to see well at night? So what you could do is Google to find out what's the name given to a, what's the condition for a person unable to see well at night? And look, up, look how many options may come up. Um, I say four, sir, but the one that's, the one on the picture here is showing more like cataracts, uh, clouding around, um, clouding up the islands. Yeah, it shows that, but um, but there's a particular name that is given for persons unable to see well at night. They cannot see well at night. Oh, so day, but not night. Hence the name. Hey. Um, the scientific name? No, it's just our name. Night blindness. Exactly, blindness. That's the one I'm looking for. So, which vitamin is lacking? Why? What? What? Which vitamin? What's the difference? They call it a deficiency disease, night blindness, right? Yes, sir. So the, vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A. That, that vitamin A, right? So yes, if sir. for the question then now, what advice would you give this person? Um, this person needs to eat more of vitamin A foods. Food with vitamin more vitamin A. Mm. You're looking for something different, sir? Oh, me? What, what was that? You must, you must do what? I, I, I said um, I would tell this person that they would need to eat more food with vitamin A. Such as? Carrots. Carrots, good. So you see what we're looking at now? The function. So, so constant consume, consumption of carrots can help to prevent um, night blindness. We're not sure if it's a cure, but, it, but because they say it's a lack of, 
the night that the, the, to me that is suggesting then um it is suggesting then that if we eat carrots constantly it might it might somehow um helps to to eradicate the condition i'm not sure i'm just saying right so the whole idea then we know what causes night blindness is lack of what vitamin a all right yes, this, sir. this person is unable to walk and lack muscle strength which vitamin is lacking here and what advice would you give this person you can research tonight. Sorry about that, sir. Um, would, um, mommy trying to get uh, asthmatic bracelet for me. Okay. So she taking the measurement of Maurice. Oh, you have asthma? Really bad asthma, sir. Yeah, only on good feet, you know. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Eat it raw or, or drink it. Drink it in. You can drink the onion juice. You can juice the onion for you. And you just drink it daily. No, no, no. No, I'll kill you. I'm sure you eat onion when you cook, 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 cook food on it. Mm. No, sir. But I don't ask, like onion. I never ask if you like it. You have to consume it. All right, sir. Mm. All right, so go ahead now. This person is unable to walk and lack muscle strength. Ricketts, sir. <laughs> I didn't notice. Ricketts. Oh, Ricketts. Yes, sir. Where you found it? Read information what you have there. Ricketts is in, um, okay. Ricketts is rare in population whose government requires certain food to have added vitamin D. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, sorry. Rickets is a childhood bone condition wherein the bone soften, soften and become prone to fractures and irregularities. This main cause of rickets is the lack of vitamin D. Okay. So, so what would you, so the vitamin they're lacking right here now is vitamin D. Okay. So we'll find a disease that's associated with that. Now, I want you to observe the, 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 the method that we're using right here. Good? Yes, sir. All right. Hold on. Hold on. See, so I have pictures. Yes, sir. And I ask questions about the pictures. Yes, See, when you're reading, you can't have a picture book, right? So no one is holy part writing of notes. You understand? Because when, when you go to the real world, you're going to see somebody looking like that. And you might be asking a question, why, 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 why is this person looking like that? And then you're going to recognize that deficiency disease, right? Because if you research, you know, you'll be able to say to someone that this person is suffering from a deficiency disease called rickets because this person has not been receiving vitamin D. 
and, the, and it's yes. normally in child, child disease. So the question then is now, what, what would be the source then of this vitamin D? There's, there's one means that is there. Oh my goodness. Sir, give me a second again. Mm -hmm. As you, um, sources from for vitamin D, right, sir? Yeah, source for the vitamin D, yeah. I know the sun gives you vitamin D. So I want to hear, my darling. I want really? To, yes, vitamin, sun is a source of vitamin D. Okay, then. Wow, hmm, this one. My God, Lord. Sir, it's, it's not, can I have us just a look again? I'm not sure, but <laughs> ginger vitamin? Ginger <laughs> vitamin. All right, uh, ginger vitis. Is it this? Dear research, dear research. <laughs> Look like that. Dear research. Oh. Irvy, sir. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See? Easy thing. Easy thing. All right. All right. Okay. There are lots of vitamin C. Good. And what advice would you give this person? Um, eat more food. From um, that has vitamin C, such as citrus. Citrus, fruit. very good. But but you must know that some persons can't consume rich citrus fruits. But there's other options. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It, um, give me a second. I think I know some. Okay, so what a question. Why some people cannot have citrus fruit? Maybe allergy, maybe the health, medical conditions. But there are other sources of vitamin C apart from citrus. Did you know that the same onion is rich in vitamin C as well? Oh, okay. Did you know that sweet pepper is also rich in vitamin C as well? Yes, sir. Bell peppers. Yes, sir, I knew that one. Peppers, exactly. And a matter of fact, it's actually richer in vitamin C than some of the citrus. Um, kiwi fruit has vitamin. Mm -hmm. Remember, because of our, our thingy, right? Yes, sir. Because of our thingy. Because of our thingy now. Um, our... We, 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 we should know these things because we have the health message, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's another picture there. Okay. All right. So we have other pictures. Here's another one. Look at the picture and determine which vitamin has the child lacking. What advice would you have given the parent of this child and lack? And lack of which mineral would you contribute to this disease? Focus on the belly. Focus on the belly. The belly, okay. Belly, yes.
you see what you're doing you now, you're acting like a doctor now. Okay. That's what the doctor does. The patient comes in, the doctor tries to diagnose the patient's condition, then he identifies the cause of condition, and then he recommends. That's what the doctor does. So you have to research. Amen? Yes, sir. Okay. Focusing on the belly. Yeah, but if you look up belly, you know. But the swelling, the swelling of the abdomen right there. That's the abdomen, basically. I'm not going to search up belly, sir. Oh, I thought you were searching up belly. No. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, record. Well, what, what is the answer? Is? Okay, I'm it can't be it. Need a description of you, that you, that you discovered. No what, sir? What, sir? Sir? What? The description. Please take care of the question. What's the way to the description that you have read? Okay. Question is a form of severe protein malnutrition, malnutrition characterized by edema and what? And, en and an enlarged liver with fatty in belly. It'll infiltrate. Uh, does that does that picture give it give it such a description? You fix that. Sir, your mic is not working. No, so, ma'am. Uh, you hear me now? Yes, I hear you now. Does that picture give that description? Guess it lost, sir. I'm working on it. Hold on, go. Yeah, keep researching until you find one. It could be cashioka. But we're talking about mineral now. Yes, sir. So you have to find a mineral that relates to this the picture that you're looking at. I am going to be next, sir. I found something called. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second before I say something stupid. No, man, nothing is stupid. Just you, we're we're being scientists here. We're researching.
I am still here, okay? I'm gone yes, away. Sir. Okay, sir. I'm not sure about this one, sir, but I have something called atrophic gastros. Gastritis. What? Gastritis. Atrophic gastritis. Is there another word for that? Simpler word? Pernicious uh, anemia. Let me give you a hint. Crohn's disease. No, hold on. Let me give you a hint. The syllabus speaks about two minerals, calcium and iron. What I would, what I would suggest you do, research deficiency disease related to calcium or caused from lack of calcium. Okay, sir. See what the description is and then you match it to the picture. Okay, sir. Um, is it a What's that? These words, though. It's spelled as O S T E O P E T R O I S F. And describe the condition, please. Okay, sir. <laughs> It is a bone disease that makes bones abnormally dense and prone to and, and prone to breakage fracture. Which, which researchers have described several major types of osteopetrosis, okay. which are usually distinguished by their pattern of inheritance. So, okay, well, make sure you know, sir, you are. Um... Are you all right in the big words? You see, you'll have to do the research. You know, so you're researching tonight. You see, you see, you're playing your game, right? You see? <laughs> so make sure you know yes, there. I don't know if you're the big word there. <laughs> all right. Yes, Very good. So that is a, that's a disease, lack of calcium, right? Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> you, have, you also have scoliosis. Scoliosis. Cran cranial nerves and anemia. Okay. Lots of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you understand the situation. What about this one now? Anemia, sir. Bam. And what's the deficiency? What is it lacking of? Iron. 
I hear very good. What's it? What's it? Let's, let's put a little bit of chemistry in the thing now. What is the symbol for iron? A symbol? There are symbols for it? Of course. It's. Let's see, let's see. You, you must have seen it in so many reading. You love to read. I know that. <laughs> All right, let me tell you what it is. No, no, wait, sir. No, 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 no. Okay, Ashley, I like your spirit. F E. F E, yes. Capital F, common E. Yeah, yes, good girl. Sir. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. All right, so let us proceed. Eh? All right. So we see we're using the syllabus and we're looking at the, the objectives as we go along. Now, there are some vitamins there, so you're going to research it, or we're going to classify them as fat-soluble and water-soluble. But what we mean by fat-soluble and water-soluble, what we mean by that, before we identify these vitamins? Water-soluble, fat-soluble. I, I probably guess it's something stupid, but it's okay, all right. I'm just thinking about this now, sir. No student in my class must consider what they say as stupid. No. You can't say okay, that. Sir. Guess what? When, 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 Eureka <laughs> shout out, Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. Probably thought, they thought he was crazy, but came up, but guess what? He came up with a brilliant discovery. So never you say that you're saying something stupid, all right? Yes, sir. Okay. I was just say, thinking, sir, since I fat have oil. Right, sir? Fat. Um, Mm. I'm just saying. All right. I'm just thinking that I was just asking um why can't you mix oil with water? Well, oil and water don't mix as, as we have observed. Yeah, yes, in but what we're really asking is what do we mean by fat soluble and what do we mean by water soluble? Oh. Now, let us use a little English language here. Fat syllable. If somebody say you're a pretty girl, we use two words there, pretty girl. Yes, Tell me about the part of speech right here, sir. What part of speech is the word pretty? In this Adjective. Case? And then girl is what? A noun. So you know, sister, there's a part, you know, sister, fat syllable. Fat is an adjective and syllable is a noun. Yes, sir. So we're describing. It's a description, right? So what we say fat syllable? Look up for the definition of the word soluble. Yes, sir. When you're doing, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're learning and you book up on words, even though you can't pronounce it, you still must identify the meaning. Because if you know the meaning of the word, then you'll be able to understand what they're asking you for. Yes, sir. So don't just read and call words. That's not comprehension. As yeah, go ahead. As substance able to dissolve especially in water okay so a substance able to dissolve so they are saying that there are vitamins that can be, that can be dissolved in what fats Fat. there are vitamins that can also be dissolved in what water yes sir. we are now going to research now what are the and, and i'm going to give you i'm going to I'm allow you to type on my board you have the privilege to do that you're so fortunate uh how we do that now sir no man, no way yes, sir. See it come to you, you know. But, but, but oh make sure I identify uh, the part. Make sure I identify them before. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir.
Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes, Keisha. Yeah. What time is that? Oh, Keisha. Sorry, sorry, just spoiling me, Mom. Sorry, spoiling me. You know, you have two V, right? So young, eh? I realized, sir. Because I was typing and it wouldn't come up. Yeah, multitask. I want to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, when you say task sheet, right? Well, we'll just decide on the different. Oh, task. my goodness. Uh, each, each person work on it, right? I see. All right, you know, you have to do that tonight, right? Huh? You have to do that tonight, tonight, right? Yeah, I'm not sure they have to come to bed. Okay, good. So, you're going to let them decide which task they want? Until they do you understand what I'm getting at? But you see, what they're not understanding, everybody are accustomed to this. So, they're learning that they're teaching maths. So, they might go by this topic thing. But when I say, look, because when you do engagement, just you, your students be brainstorming how they would go about building whatever they want to build. And I put building right. because you know, must have, have to build a house, they can build something else, they can build a chimney, uh, they can build a bed, anything you want to. But and they decide on the materials they're going to choose because that is where now we're leading to the exploration. But the instruction sheet now will be asking them to give us certain things that will come out into the lesson like you want them to be able to tell us the length of the height of it and so forth this, the amount of space that they are taking up exactly 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 yeah. and they could consumer people being able to call them and sell those uh, sell whatever they're buying and remember that's what they want yes. to do align the teaching with real life activities right. he's going to read the powerpoint Yeah, that's done. Right. Yeah, but give me a couple minutes. Give me a couple minutes to call it, but no, come here, record the class. I'm the one to record it. Discussion, I record it. I'm soon calling it. All right, no problem. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. If so vitamin A, D, and E, and K are fat soluble. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I'm finished, sir. There are more, there are different vitamins. Eh? Yeah? There are different vitamins, or this is it? Yes, man, that is it. Okay. So, well, you knew them or you did the research? I knew them. So, yeah, go ahead, you know, no biology, sir. I'm full with them, for? No, sir. Okay. All right, so now we're going into, you know, so I'm sure I make you continue to control. You control my computer. That would be very good. So now we're going to perform in test to distinguish among food nutrients. Now your task in this case, right? You yeah, hear me? Yes, sir. Your task in this case now would be to either we're going to look for a video. You will look for a video to watch that where how they go about conduct conducting the starch test. Okay, starch distribution sugar. So you 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 going to write it in a in a in a, a report form, where you have the aim, a hypothesis, the scientific approach you're going to be using, scientific method. The aim, the hypothesis, the date you watch the video. Because the audience in the video will be doing, you know, the person in the video will be actually doing the experiment. Okay, so you want me to do it now? Well, um, we're almost gone two hours. We're almost gone two hours. So I'm going to know what you want for them. Because I actually have my lab book, but I don't know where to find it. I think I did some other in class. Oh, I'm glad you can't find it because you're going to do what my, my instruction. You, you know, easy, you know, you think it's easy? 
You think you no, no, sir. I, I'm gonna do your instruction, but I need like how it, it, it's aligned. Oh. oh, 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 you mean the format? Yes, oh. sir. Oh, 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 okay, okay. No, 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 I get you now. No, I get you now. But let me give you what you're going to be doing, though. So, what are you going to be doing? Oh, I have the iodine, sir, so I will probably I'll do it. You have iodine? Yes, you told me to buy it a long time ago this morning. My mommy was talking about the old oh, sermon for buying the iodine. I'm going to use it. So, now we'll reach it now. So, so, you can do your own starch test. Oh, the guess what then you're going to do then? In one of your presentations, next week's class, you're going to perform the starch test in, uh, live. How about that? Okay, it's there. Yes. Live on, just like how we did with the potato, you're going to do it with the starch test. Yeah, a real school data, no joke. <laughs> All right. So you must know the about, you must know the one about reducing sugars too. One second, you please. I am here, man. I think my guy, my dear.
All right. So, so, so you would have to look at the producing sugars one and the non-reducing sugars and the protein. The fat test can be done at home as well. Yes, sir. All right. Because all you need is a brown paper bag and they can do the fat test. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, click on my thing. We'll, we'll be wrapping up shortly. Click on my thing. Click on where, sir? Just click. No, man. Just click. Just click. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just wait. It's it, it, uh, good. So this is where we'll, we'll end it up so far. So we'll end with this. Okay. We'll end with this one. We will end with this one. Identify the various structures of the digestive system. But we're going to go back to the other objects that we have missed out. All right? So we'll end with this one tonight. To identify the various structures of the digestive system. You can go ahead and tell me. Oh, what you can do now, you're going to click on annotate. Annotate? Yeah, then you're going to live. You're going to, you're going to click on annotate on yours. Annotate, where is annotate? Where is that, sir? Oh. Mm. And text. So you're going to type and label them, label the parts then now. Okay, sir. So label. Oh. Yeah. You're going to label A. Label A. You just know, line and say A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Click where A is and you type what the name of A. You can type it above the, above the line. Above the line. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, sir. You type A already? I type in it, sir. Oh, you type in it, okay. You know, you know what's mouth that I'm typing? What 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 find in the mouth? Just the library guys. Oh, very good. But just want to make sure you know, sir, that. Okay. So is it what happened to oh? Yeah, stomach is good. All right. What, sir? Something happened. What? Happened? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Clear everything. No. I didn't mean to clear everything, sir. Oh, oh, oh! I'll oh, oh, come back. Okay. Yes, this, what, this to, is C, right, sir? Okay. Welcome to the power of Zoom. I bet you didn't know I could do this, right? No, sir. Mm -hmm. C, okay. C is pointing where, sir? Look good. Then let me tell you where it's pointing. Then I, I mean, I'll get a name. Uh, the leaf, the leaf, with kind, the leaf looking like a like structure, look like a leaf. Okay. Let me get a description, but I won't get a name. Okay. Oh. Pancreas, job well done. Go to G next. G, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, tell type it. Small intestine, you can type it. Me not let me not let you type it. Type it. 
Undo, you can undo. Okay, but the punk is. I thought I was supposed to do it in order. That's why. Oh, you can do it in order, not a problem. Small intestine, okay. Large intestine. But which part of it? No, but which part what? of large intestine? Oh, no, no, this is not large intestine. I just realized it was a day wrong. Yeah, all of it is a large intestine. But which part of large intestine that is? The anus. The anus. Very good. And then. Uh, is that correct, sir? The the gallbladder. Very good. Okay. Which part of the large intestine that, that would that likely be? Appendix, sir. No, the appendix will be further down. That you could tick down oh. there. So Which part would that be, sir? Right. Wait, wait, wait. I think in wait. Mm -hmm. Is it the whole answer? Uh, yeah, I would put that. What's the, what's the function of the colon? I'm trying to remember. Give me a second, sir. Because mm -hmm. I was looking at the notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Mm, continue. Okay, sir. All right, question now. I'm going to ask to draw a line. Draw a line. Two between the stomach and the mouth. Draw a line and then label it. The two between the stomach and the mouth. Um. So you get the line, sir. This thing here? It's supposed to look like a line. Now you just choose one of the line then. Choose the one that looks like a straight line. Now the curved line. Okay. Straight line. From right here, sir. Well, draw it and then we see where I draw it from. Just drag it. Just click on drag and line will draw. Very good. See? You have sense now. You have enough, enough sense. <laughs> then, then label it now. Am I correct? It's it's actually how it started. Esophagus. I thought most of the American spelling. Ah, oh, it's oh, oh. Yeah. All right. So draw a line from the the thing that produces that well that really that works with the the gallbladder. Label the one that works with the gallbladder. 
I don't want to tell you the name. Somebody just want to label that one. Draw the line from it and you label it. But draw it, draw it in the opposite direction. No? You never draw it in that, that way. No? Which, which way, sir? This way. Draw it towards the, the, the other shoulder. Oh, this so? Eh? This way, sir? If you want, all right, all right. it's a problem. <laughs> you beat this up. It's already dry this already. And that's lay a bit now. It's right on top of it. Perfect. But, but you see, I'm bringing it down further. Yeah, I just realizing, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, excellent job. How do you feel about tonight's class? It was good, sir. Really good. Really good. Okay. What made it good? Me using my brain. Okay. What else? And how you actually asked me questions. Good. Get him help me at all so I can actually think to get the answers. Okay, good. Anything else? Yes, sir, that's a get to write on your screen. Okay, then I was wondering, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So, you know, so we start writing on my screen, right? Yes, sir. Wonderful. And the fact of the matter is, you're basically doing the work, right? So yes, sir. So if you're a class, take it over. All right, ma'am? Yes, sir. All right. So I hopefully you'll be the this year's monitor. So when the other students come on, you know that you will be taking over the, the school monitor. Yes, and sir. checking out checking. You actually you actually volunteered before because you say you want to talk to Kenisha. So you got to speak to her by the way? Still then don't get the chance, but oh. I will soon. Because okay. I was wondering, because I'm like, I want her back in the class. Yes. Because I miss her. Okay. I really do. I make her know. So tell her. Yes. Tell her you miss her. All right? Yes, I'd be happy to know that. All right. So we have come to the end of the session. You do have a good night. And tell mommy good night, too. I know she was a part of the session as well. So tell her good night. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, then. All right. So look, I'm looking forward for my assignment that you owe me. Yes, sir. I'm working on it, actually watching videos and trying to hear what they have to say. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good girl, good girl. All right, so that's a wrap. Yes, sir. I must tell you that this is going, this is one is going on YouTube. So, yes, this one's going on YouTube. I like this one. All right, yeah. so ladies and gents, you have viewed our class. We're, we're inviting you to come and join us. We feel a bit lonely in this room here. So, we only take seven more persons to do human and social biology. So we're saying good night to you now from Ashe. From Ashe Martin. And your, your instructor, Ronnie Bernard, yours truly. All right, good night. <laughs> good night, sir. Okay, then. I can't come off of this. Oh, no, I have, have a thing there. I have to abort it. Hold on. All right. That's it. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm cool. still typing on the screen, sir. <laughs> no, you're, you're typing your screen, not my screen. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, man. Cool. Just click on leave.